Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at homeostasis. Homeostasis is the process by which an organism maintains a stable internal environment despite changes in the external environment. Homeostasis is essential for life as it allows the body or a cell to function properly even in the face of changing conditions. All living things must maintain homeostasis. Let's take a look at how the body does this. Homeostasis is a complex process that involves the coordinated activity of many different organs and systems. Here are some examples. Temperature regulation. The body maintains a constant internal temperature of about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This is done through sweating, shivering, and blood flow. pH regulation. The body maintains a constant pH of about 7.4. This is done through the kidneys, which filters out acids and bases from the blood. Fluid balance. The body maintains a constant fluid, fluid balance by regulating the amount of water that is taken in and out. This is done through the kidneys, which filter out excess water from the blood, and sweat glands, which produce sweat. Electrolyte balance. The body maintains a constant balance of electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium, and calcium. Electrolytes are essential for many bodily functions, such as muscle contraction, nerve conduction, and fluid balance. Hormonal balance. Hormones are chemical messengers that are produced by the endocrine system. They travel through the bloodstream and affect the function of other organs and tissues. Feedback loops are important in allowing living organisms to maintain homeostasis. With a negative feedback loop, you move above or below a set target. An example is found in your house, which is your thermostat. If it is set at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the temperature gets above this, the air conditioner will turn on in order to cool the house. When it falls below 70 degrees, it will turn off. It will continue to repeat this process. With a positive feedback loop or amplification, you move away from a target set point. For example, if the speed limit is 55, a positive feedback would see this speed limit as a challenge and would try to go much faster than the speed limit of 55. It would amplify the speed. During childbirth, contractions are triggered by pressure from the head of the baby on the cervix. The contractions increase the pressure on the cervix, which causes more contractions, which this keeps repeating over and over again. The contractions are amplified. So in summary, homeostasis is the process by which an organism maintains a stable internal environment despite changes in the external environment. This in turn keeps the internal environment in balance and keeps the organism alive. Thanks for watching and remember kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind someone today.